All right, guys, so we're going to start the Lahibo guard, okay? Um, there's different ways for you to play the Lahibo, okay? Um, you can grab the pants, right? Take on this side and grab the pants. You can grab the ankle like this, okay? You can go closer, like putting your bicep right uh, around his leg here, okay? Like his arm, uh, your arm around his leg. You see that your hand is going to be exposed on this side between his legs. You can control the pants here. You can make a grip on the pants here. It's a very good grip. It is strong. Uh, another way you can control is grabbing his belt here. You can give the belt to the hand that's uh, right under your leg here. Okay. Or the left belt. You can give the left belt here. Open the left belt and then look. The hand is going to be right here. And you grab the left belt just like a roll. Just like that. Okay, and you have a really strong De La Riva hook, and now you're controlling the guard. You have four fingers inside to break his posture, okay? Keep the foot on his bicep here, all right? And you have the control. Okay? So there's uh, different things you can do here from De La Riva. Depends on his posture and the way he, uh, he pulls the outside leg, okay? So in this case, his uh, left leg, right? So sometimes your opponent will be more like with the leg, like behind like that, with both uh, uh, legs apart, right? Or he's gonna do the legs closer like this, okay? Or he's gonna try to work to not let you uh, go towards his, uh, his back, okay? Look, right now if uh, Tiago plays 90 degrees from me, like this, okay? It's so easy for me to just start moving around him, putting a deeper De La Riva, it's like controlling his, his pants, okay? And from here, I can start attacking his back or even start putting his hip on the floor, okay? And then from here, I can start going for scrambles, okay, bermolo, or just get the sweep right there, okay? So we're gonna work both ways, okay? If his leg is apart or if his leg is closed, okay? Uh, the first one, we're gonna push his leg out. I'm gonna put you over here, and then they're gonna push the leg out, and I step my, I step my foot on his shoulder here. Okay. And the reason that I do that is because I don't wanna keep the leg there, letting my opponent step me over my leg like this. Okay. Because if you step over this leg, now things start getting hard for me. But this grip here would be super good for me. Okay. The grip that I have. See, I can still control my opponent and recover the guard. So when you when you push his leg, okay, and break his posture, immediately put your foot on his, on his uh, shoulder. Just like that, okay? You see that Thiago is off balance right now, okay? I'm using the little of a hook, and I'm forcing him to pose his hand on the floor here, okay, on this position. He also can go back to the other side, and to go back to the other side, he needs to bring the leg closer to me. See that? So we're gonna play uh, like that. If you step over my leg, step over my leg here, you step over my leg, I'm gonna lift him using my hook, okay? Right between his butt, okay? Turn your butt to the camera there. So, I can use like this, okay? With the little heave hook still, and I bring him up like this and push him, right? Or I can put my, my leg under like this, okay? And now, I elevate him like this, okay? I can even put my foot on his, on his uh, hip to reset my guard, and then go back to the leg here, okay? Again, push, step. He's gonna go back, he's gonna step over my leg, bring him up, step my foot on his hip, take the leg out, okay, this leg that's between his leg, and then go back to the leg. Okay, just keep playing like that. Okay, again, no, close the legs. So I'm gonna close my legs, I'm gonna push, force it to go the hand on the floor, he's gonna go back, put on the shoulder, I'm gonna swing the arm inside, step over my leg, okay? I can cross my legs like this if I want, or I can keep the belly hip hook, okay? Bring him up. If I need to push him with my hip, I'll do it, because look, sometimes when I bring him up, he's gonna pinch the knees. You guys can come in. 
Sometimes when I lift him up, he's gonna he's gonna pinch the knees. Okay? So lift him up like this. Yeah, you close the knees like this. So now it's hard for me to take this egg uh, out of between his legs, right? It's really hard. So that's why when I get here, I can put my foot on his on his uh, on his hip, and then I go back with the guard like this. Okay? You guys got the drill? All right? Again, go here. You like my guard? Go with my hand around his leg. Feed the tail. Okay? Push. Put on the hip, on the shoulder. He's gonna go back. He's gonna step over my leg. I'm gonna lift him. Push. Go back. If I lift him here, he pinch the knees. Pinch the knees like this. I need to push here. And I always reset my little hip guard like this. Okay? Let's go control. The goal of the person on top is just uh, keep his stepping over the leg. From here. We're gonna control. Okay, like this. Show the hip hook. His intention is to always like turn me this way, okay? So I wanna like face this way, okay? So right now I hear like he's in a good position, he's gonna push my thigh and force me to go this way. Put, put your foot on my shoulder, right here, okay? I go back, step over his leg, he's gonna lift me up, and then he's gonna reset the guard. Like this. If I step over and he lift me and I close my legs, He's gonna push with the outside leg on my hip. So I can post this leg on the floor so I have space to take this leg out. Okay? When he lifted me here and he tried to take the leg between my legs out without pushing my hip, I can keep this leg close to him. Okay? So he's gonna push my hip with the outside leg, push, so I can get the base and then he's gonna take the leg out. And then he go back. Put your leg on. Just like that one. All right, that's work. One, two, three. Go. We're playing the lahipo, get the lapel. When you grab the lapel, feed as much as you can. So open his legs so he can be lower, like he lower his, uh, his, uh, his weight down, right? And then his posture is down so he can get more lapel. So if you try to get his posture up, posture up. Like if you try to get here, you're not gonna get a lapel enough. Okay, so kick his leg and then Get the lapel breaking the posture here, controlling the collar. He's trying to posture up. In the meantime, you're like feeding the lapel more and more. Because as high as you grab the lapel, better for you. Okay? That'll be control. And pull the lapel in a way that you keep your hand right on your leg here. Okay? So you keep like really close. You can be like this too. You see that's a little bit uh, loose right here. Okay? So make sure you pull the up down here as well. Okay, so now you do. Now there's different things you can do from here. Okay? So when my opponent step over my leg, okay, here, there's one position that you can do that works really well, but this is for uh, people that has better flexibility. Okay? So you're gonna pull a circle, pull the hand on the floor, and usually he pinch the knee. He doesn't open the knee, it's up. So I put it to the knees like this. Okay? Keep, keep the right pinch. Like right here. Okay? So now you can start passing the foot around and then trapping the leg here. Okay? So then you got the, the sun cup. Okay, you can do that. That's a little bit more advanced. Okay? Or you simply uh, try to sweep it. The only, uh, the only thing that happens here in this position, I need to sweep him with scrambles, okay? Or trapping his legs, trapping both legs. Otherwise, I can't sweep him. Why? Because this grip here will limit me, uh, will lead myself to sit up, okay? For example, if you if go away from me, move away from me, like I can't sit up because this grip, okay? The best way for me to sit up is with my hand over my leg. So when you play this, uh, this guard here, you need to work to go under your opponent, okay? Or move into the side. And then by moving to the side, you're gonna start going for scrambles. You gotta work with scrambles here, okay? 
So it's going to be really hard for you, for example, to be here and then lift him and then kick and try to sit up. You see, you're not going to like go for a single leg here, for example. But if my arm is over my leg here, like this, that's different. Like now I can start, like come up like this. Okay. So you have this option when he's really close to you to go for the leg entanglement, like the honey hole, right? Again. So you got here. You got the hook under his leg. I lift him, he's closing the leg. So now I press him. Okay, and then I swing my leg inside, and then I trap his leg in. Okay, you require flexibility. There's another way you can do it this too, is controlling the knee here. If I lift him like this, right, that's the most simple way to do it. Right now we work with this up that grip. Another thing we can do, is if, uh, let's say, he doesn't want to step over my leg, okay? If he's not stepping over my leg, that means his leg is far from me. So I can start bringing it to the side, okay? Right here, I'll push it, I'll bring it to the side like this. When he got here, I'm gonna control the hand that was on the collar on his pants, here. So I go like this, so I'm here, I change the grip like this, okay? And once I change the grip now, I'm going to start coming up like this. Okay. Even with my opponent like fighting, I can go and sweep. The only thing he can do here to escape is change the hand, put the other hand on the floor. Right now. Exactly, like this. Okay. So if he does that, he's going to give you the back. Okay. But usually he's going to insist on keep on this side. It's going to be so easy for you to sweep. Again. So here. Because sometimes when you try to go for a scramble, your opponent defends really well. Okay? For example, I'm here, okay? I push him, I bring him to the side, and I try to go for a scramble, then my opponent starts to scramble with me and start running away from me, and then I end up losing the position. So if he's resting here, my foot is on his, is on his uh, shoulder right here, I change the grip here, I grab his face here. Okay? Make the grip on the pants. I take advantage that he's uh, trying to be here. Right? Sometimes he's gonna try to hug my head, right? especially if you're deep, but yeah, he's gonna be like that, grab my collar, right? So now look, I need to abandon everything. I abandon the bottom grip, okay? I can even put this hook inside here, okay? Just like this, and I come up. But it works really well. When he's like halfway, he's with the hand on the floor. So I'm here, okay? Push into the side, I'll change the grip, and I come up like this. Try to fight back. Yeah, he's gonna fight back like this, so he's gonna give me the back, and then, and then start working for me. Okay. So you try to come up with the cross grip, even if he's holding your pants. Yes. He has one hand on the mat, but he's like, Taking this foot out of your head, like, grab yes, because my bottom leg is free. You know, like the, the leg that's doing the dog right here, but here, it's gonna be free, you know, pretty much is this. Even he's yeah, controlling this leg here, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I have no. No, yeah, I have no, like, I have no problem because when I control here, I can use this leg to push him, or even like right here, you know. Like so you think the leg won't be safe over, not be safe left. Yeah, over, yeah. Like if I put between his legs here, it may work, but then he can start going for side lashes up. Like this. My intention when I sweep on, uh, in this position, I need to force him, I need to offer him the X guard. So he accepts me on bottom. Okay? If I try to go on top, like when I get here, right, and I control the, the pants, and I start like going on top of him, and try to just be like between his legs, he's gonna stand up. So push his chest and come up strong. Okay. I'm here, control him, I'm feeding the lapel as much as I can. Control him here, okay? Push him to the side, he's like fighting there, so I control here. And then start, you see, give me the next start. I put my leg on this side here, okay? I need to do this, 
And if I try to put my leg on this side, here, it's gonna fight back. Okay? Again. So here, step one, step two. I'll push his leg, and look, turn around. This hook right here, the De La Riva hook, is gonna be on his belly, okay? And I start pushing to the side. I feel like I can push his belly, even though I have the De La Riva hook here. Because when I start breaking his posture, I feel my leg is super strong there, okay? I don't use it. So I bring him to the side, control the pants, and then look, off in the leg. When I get here right now, I need to deal with foot locks and stuff. You can get foot locks, right? So I just need to watch out for that, okay? So when you get here, this leg between my legs makes me strong. So what I like to do, I take this leg out of my leg, and then I go with this hand here, okay? Try to put the foot on the hip, and then I go here. Now I can start putting my armpit in front of his leg, and I stay here, okay? And then from here, I start uh, sinking my knee to the floor, then I get the half breath. Okay? So as soon as you sweep, don't let him be like this. Especially this foot here. It makes him really strong, okay? So you're gonna take this leg out, press your forearm here, control, put his leg on your left here. So bring his leg to this side so you can go with your armpit here. So there is no knee shield anymore, see? And now you're gonna start forcing this knee to go to the floor. Here, okay? Now, you're gonna close this space, okay? Because like sometimes I see people get here and they try to put the knee on the floor, but this leg is here, it's gonna always frame. And always, it's gonna always maintain you out. So you need to come here, okay? Like this, and then you deal with this. Now you control, okay? Even if it's already, Trap him, especially if he's under hooking like this, even better. Okay, if I get like this here, I can start like bring my money to the floor to this side and start smashing. Okay, so for everyone, uh, you work on this. Okay, uh, if you have flexibility and you want to do the honey hole, you like the honey hole, you can try it. Okay. But the focus of the technique right now is this one. Okay. Last one. So I'm here, fighting with him, okay? So I'll force him to go to the side. This way, Zach. Change my grip here. Come up to the next way. Okay. Take the leg out, armpits. Very important to put your armpits here. Try to get an issue. See? And your leg is far from his arm too. Grab my leg there. So make sure you pull him here. Don't let him move this way. So you underhook your leg, see? So make sure you keep pulling him this way so he's far from your leg. Now, you start sinking this into the floor and then you're in a good half work, okay? Any question? All right, so the grip that you're gonna make on the pants, it's gonna be different every single time because it really, dep uh, really depends on his pants. Sometimes his pants are gonna be like this Sometimes his face is gonna be like that. Sometimes really tight with the pants, you know? So, so when I get here, okay? I'll push him into the side. Turn, turn more. See, like, I grab like this. Sometimes you can grab four fingers like this, like spider grip if you want. But you need the fast grip, you know? And then, you see the leg there. Take the leg out, armpit, control, stay low here. See for me. And then get my step. Okay? Alright, so watch three. Go. Guys, listen. Uh, just one thing here. Look, when I when I when I wanna get uh, get on top of him, this leg right here will always push uh, on the on the direction of the shoulder, okay? So when I start like opening him like this and push him to the side, when I change my grip here, I don't want this leg go this way here, okay? If I put my leg here, now my weight is right here, okay? He's gonna go back, he's gonna get back here, okay? 
So when I'm here, I push him, I push him to the side, I get here. Now look, my leg stays really heavy on the direction of his bicep right there. So I want the weight on this foot right here. That's why like when I come up, I like to take this knee off the mat. So I want to be heavy right there. Okay, and then right now I'm going to start work to take his leg out and start passing his leg, okay? So just like when you come up, don't put the leg on the floor, but push his chest, his shoulder. Then you're going to put your elbow on the floor and stomp this foot on the floor, okay? So you can push him to the mat. All right, let's go one, two, three.